Hey guys, so Reaper here, back in Kerbal Space Program. Uh, I was looking around on the forum, under the uh, work in progress section, I saw a rover by uh, Mars 6 333, yes, which used uh, air brakes as a, how we say that, roof, uh, door, um, cockpit. Let's just call it a cockpit. So. I saw that and I thought, whoa, that's brilliant. I always wanted to make a uh, open plane with a closed cockpit, but trying to make that with my old technique uh, didn't work. Too many parts and it was a little bit wobbly. So now I made this little craft and it just seemed to come together without any effort. It's, uh, I think, pretty cool. We'll have uh, Jebediah. Jebediah here. Get in. Uh, I would do the ladder on the side of the uh, uh, cockpit, but then it would stick out inside of the cockpit, so that would look ridiculous. Oops. But you have to uh, climb up, and uh, then you can. Uh, Climb out using F. That's the new uh, climbing technique we have uh, since I think 1.0. And then you can climb on stuff, which is great. So now uh, we have to get past uh, the air brakes. I, I want to have the ladder somewhere else, but if you're really, if I'm really honest, you can just do this and board. Then again, you can also say, uh, let's see, uh, uh, leaf seat, and just uh, climb. You can also just, if you want to do it simple, press here, and board, and you're in. Uh, just for the uh, little authenticity we have lettuce okay so this is the craft four turbojet engines I tried to make it a VTOL that required uh, four extra basic engines to lift it off the ground so yeah that did really really work the way I wanted it to so uh, uh, the air brakes have issued it's still a bug in the game uh, that you can't assign any buttons to them except the standard buttons brake and the handbrake so I can't really brake without flipping over but it doesn't matter looks cool so this is the craft closed which I think looks sweet I also used the new um, radiators for the side of the cockpit I wish there would be uh, more the shape and the size of the uh, uh, Mark II uh, parts so Oh, Mark 1 parts, uh, the same circle, the same roundness. They seem to be a little bit bigger now, as if they could fit around those parts, uh, around the Mark 1 parts, but I want to be the same size so that I can use it to make a hollow uh, cylinder for all kinds of things, you know, uh, engine, exhaust, and that's, uh, that sort of stuff. But okay, um, so this is the craft. Uh, we have uh, a few rudders. Uh, of course, uh, control surfaces. I only use the uh, outer uh, control surface on the tip of the wings for the uh, rolling. And I only use the inside uh, contr uh, control surfaces for yawning. And the rest is all for pitching. There's also some wings inside the cone of the plane uh, and the nose. For the simple reason, if I don't do that, you have barely any control. Let's get out of here. Again, I love the new exhaust. The flames. Beautiful. There we go. So, uh, we have about, uh, let's see, uh, 800 fuel. Uh, I did it for balance purposes. All, uh, everything's empty except uh, two tanks in the middle. The plane is pretty fast. It can handle uh, very high speeds and uh, it won't break up. But that's nice. 
uh, the um, control surfaces on the bottom seem to uh, seem to break a lot because they are interfering with the uh, uh, jet engine streams, which is useful. You know, if you break, you can make faster turns. So it's also a bit of wobbly the plane. The parts uh, you can see them move. I try to strut everything as much as possible, but maybe if I make a remake and I can make it more solid, I try my best. Otherwise, I think the plane looks damn cool. If I do same so myself, really, it looks very sci-fi, very uh, futuristic. And as you can see, it's pretty quick. It's also burning through the fuel. Uh, and the faster you go in your, in your turn, the more you can see parts clipping. Can't really be helped. Eh? I'm just happy the plane doesn't break up when you steer. So it can handle uh, high speeds pretty well. Of course, four turbojet engines will do that. But that, that gives it a little bit more for that sci-fi feel, you know? That it can reach such high speeds. It reminds me a little bit of the planes in the film uh, Stealth. You know, you have uh, those three planes where you start out with. Just a little bit. Okay, so now we're reaching pretty high speeds. We have two RAM air intakes at the front, and that's all, so not a lot of resistance. So let's see if we can break this craft. I do think that the uh, the uh, um, radiators help, that they disperse heat, and of course uh, the new version of Kerbal Space Program uh, 1.0, there goes the fuel. Okay. Uh, yeah, that was the fuel. It's not a very long distance for a craft. Uh, you know, you have to make uh, some sacrifices for aesthetics. But I think it looks pretty cool. I might reuse, of course, the cockpit. Because that looks, to my opinion, damn amazing. Uh, my thanks to uh, Mars X33. He has his own YouTube channel. Look it up. I just, uh, yeah, great idea. And then I'm a real Kerbal Space Pro uh, gamer. Steal everything you can when you see something. <laughs> I just, uh, you know, I always say if you see something I made and you want to uh, replicate it or reuse that idea, do, do it. Just use it. It's not my property, it's not my game. And, uh, you know, if you use each other's ideas and we, uh, we uh, improve on it, we will only become better of it. We're not we're not a company, we don't earn money doing this, at least I'm not. So let's get down. Break, break, break. Oh yeah, landing on the mountains. That's not really a good idea. And what? Jebediah survives, of course he does. If we can get him out of his seat, I think he he lives, but he's paralyzed. Ah. Again we broke his back. Sorry, Jeb. So, guys, if you like the video, uh, please press the like button. It really helps. If you want to see more and you haven't already, uh, subscribe. And uh, leave your comments in the comment section. And I'll see you guys for the next one. Bye.